Okay, so today we're going to look at uh, configuring Factory Talk users in a Factory Talk View Studio ME application. So what I have here is just a main display and then a maintenance display and operations display. So I have just display navigation buttons here for each screen and what I'm going to do actually first is we're going to come down and we're going to add two new users one for each group. So when you come into your application, if you just come down to the bottom and expand the systems folder, and then expand the users and groups folder, you'll see users and user groups. What we're gonna do is first add a user and we're gonna make it a factory talk user. A Windows linked user would be one that was linked to your Microsoft Windows account. Uh, but we're just going to concentrate on factory talk user. So we're going to come in here, uh, username, the first one we're going to make, uh, mate, and you can add in a full name, description, email, none of that's required though. I'm just going to make a username and a password. Just make it one, two, three, four. And then there's a few options here. Um, we're not going to check, we're, I'm just going to check password never expires. Uh, it doesn't matter for the sake of this video but I typically check that if I don't want to have to change the password every so often and then under group membership currently that's blank for member of uh, by default there's an admins user group uh, I don't want to do that I'm just going to create a new group under here select user group and I'm going to call this group maintenance group and I'm going to hit OK to that, and then I'm going to select that group to add this user to. Say OK, and there I have a maintenance user. Now the other way to make a group is you can right click on users group and make a user group. I'm going to make the name of this one operations group. And I could add a member here. Um, I don't have my operation um, user created yet, so I'm just going to hit create new, factory talk user. I'm going to make the name of this user operator and just make a password for the operator as well. Say OK. And then I'm going to choose the user for the group that I just created. So two different ways to add, um, you know, a user or a user group. So, but now I have two users. If I come up to runtime security, and then here I have a default user that by default just has rights to all the security codes. I'm gonna add my maintenance user and I'm going to add my operator and what I'm going to do is I'll give the maintenance user access to everything but security code A and I'll give the operator access to everything except security code B and I'll give default access to everything but both A and B. Close this and save. Okay, so now what I want to do in my project, I'm going to make a login and logout button under the user management. Just do login. I'll just add these quickly. and user management log out and I'm also going to add a string display just to show who the current user is so to do that I'll just add a spring dis string display and under connections for the tag, I'll just click system tag and select user. OK, 
Okay. Okay, so then for my maintenance screen, I'm going to go to display settings. I had done this previously, but in this one I believe I gave him access to everything but A. So I'm going to change the security code to B. Apply, and that will only give access to this screen to people with the security code B access. And same here. I'm going to change this to A now. Apply. Okay. So I'm pretty much ready to go. I'm going to create a runtime file. Actually, I have to close my screens out and save them first. Okay. Now I'm going to create a runtime application. So put this on my PC, on my desktop. And then once that's created and running, um, we'll test this out. Okay, so now I have the runtime application running just on my Windows desktop. So I have my default user logged in. If I go to log in, I'll pull this into the frame. I'm just going to log in as my maintenance user. I should see my string display update. And then I can access my maintenance screen. Access is denied to the operation screen, which is good. That's how I configured. So if I log out, go back to default, and then I'm going to log in as the operator. Pull this back into the frame again. So now I'm logged in as the operator. I can access the operation screen. Access is denied to the maintenance screen. If I log out, then obviously as default, access is denied to both. So that's about it with configuring Factory Talk users. Thanks for watching.